Are you looking for a pair of premium in-ear headphones that could outperform the Apple AirPods Pro? Well, keep watching and we'll find out. Hi guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds. I hope you are all doing well. Today we're comparing two exciting new in-ear headphone releases from English manufacturer Bowers & Wilkins, the PI5s and the PI7s, so you can find out if either one might be right for you. And yes, I'll also be comparing these to the Apple AirPods as an AirPod owner myself. So before we delve into the review, it's worth mentioning that we are a Bowers & Wilkins authorized dealer. So if by the end of the review, you're interested in picking up a pair of one of these, we have them available on our website with free next day delivery. Or if you feel that they might not be right for you, feel free to check out some of our other headphone reviews on our YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get started with the review. The PI5s and the PI7s are both active noise cancelling wireless in-ear headphones to accompany B&W's existing PI3s and PI4s, which are their less expensive in-ear headphone models. The difference with the PI5s and PI7s is that they're truly wireless for added convenience when you're on the move, so will complement an active lifestyle whilst maintaining Bowers & Wilkins' signature sound. In terms of pricing, they're set at £199 for the PI5s, which will compete with the Sony WF-1000XM3s, the Bose QC earbuds and the Apple AirPods. The PI7s are set at a slightly higher price tag of £349, which will compete with the likes of the Bang & Olufsen BO Play E8 Sport and the Sennheiser Momentum, and they're £100 more than the AirPods Pro. Both the PI5s and PI7s are available in a colour choice of charcoal or white, and I've got to give Bowers & Wilkins credit for how meticulously well these have been designed. There is a slight difference between the colours available for bo both models. The PI5s are available in an all black version and a white with a very pale rose gold tone version, while the PI7s come in both black with gold features and white with gold features. Personally, I prefer the all black look here, but I can see the gold styling being popular too. On both headphones, you've got the Bowers & Wilkins branding etched on the perimeter here. I don't usually like branding being prominent on the product, but I do feel the BMW logo is quite elegant. In general, both have a very premium feel, and I think you'd struggle to find in-ear headphones that look more classy than these. Now, they're supplied in these charging cases, which are compact and lightweight, and if you opt for the PI7s, the case is actually a smart case, and the first smart case of its kind to enter the market. How is it smart? Well, the main feature is something called an audio retransmission system. So you can connect the case to an analog or USB source and it will retransmit the audio to the earbuds automatically. Very impressive feature and one that you can take full advantage of in a situation like in-flight entertainment when you're on board a plane. This LED light will illuminate in different colors like green, amber, or red to show the current battery life or flash blue when in Bluetooth pairing mode and solid blue when successfully connected. And finally, you can charge the case so that they'll charge the earphones when not in use. You can then charge the case using wireless charging, which is not often seen, but I really like this feature as it makes the whole experience more seamless. I actually find these cases to be extremely convenient, both in terms of charging and making sure the earbuds are kept safe when I'm not wearing them. It is worth noting that the case is slightly larger than an iPod's case, for example. If we take a closer look at the earphones themselves, they actually have really discrete touch controls. So both earphones can control the music and calls so that you can play or pause, skip track, previous track, answering, ending, or rejecting a call, all by tapping either earphone just once, twice, or three times, depending on what you want them to do. So the noise cancellation mode and voice assistant is also activated by tapping the left earphone for one second for the noise cancelling, and one second on the right earphone to activate the voice assistant. I found the voice assistant really useful when I was on my own, but obviously I didn't really use this when I was around other people. It is important to note that they don't come with an integrated voice assistant, but rather integrate with your device's own voice assistant, whether that is Google Assistant or Siri. As an AirPods user myself, I really appreciate the flat design on the end of these headphones as it makes touch gestures a lot more precise and practical. After wearing them for a while, you can understand this intentional design definitely adds to the touch functionality. Moving on to comfort, a great pair of in-ear headphones is comfortable enough to wear over long periods and also be universal enough to fit anyone's shape of ears. I've been wearing these headphones a few hours a day over the last week or so, and I'm happy to confirm I had no issues whatsoever wearing these. 
I do find in-ear headphones to be more comfortable than on-ear or over-ear headphones like the PX5 or the PX7s, as it's quite hard to find a pair that don't push your ears back, causing fatigue over time. One of the great things about both the PI5s and the PI7s is that you can actually twist them backwards into your ear slightly so they're nice and stable and actually seal your ear canal for the best optimization. It does take a couple of minutes just to figure out how they're supposed to sit in your ear, but you can use the microphone as a guide and once you've got it, you'll find that they're really secure in your ear. I actually did a bit of running with the PI7s and I found that they didn't move in my ear at all. I didn't feel like they would fall out um, and I was confident enough in them to run as normal. If you combine this with their weatherproof rating of IP54, you can even take them out with you in rain and they'll also resist your sweat and dust ingress, which worked well in our testing. So even though the PI7s and the PI5s are not advertised as sport earphones, I think they would do well in this application and they'd be great for wearing it in the gym as well. This weatherproof rating is slightly higher than the Sony XM3s, the Bose QC and the AirPods Pro as they all share the same IPX4 rating. I guess a lot of people will also be wondering if these earphones will fit their ears, but luckily B&W provide three different size silicone ear tips, so if you find the standard ear tips too large or too small for your ears, you can try out the other sizes, which is nice to have. So moving on to the really fun stuff, the sound quality. So first thing to mention is that both headphones benefit from a proprietary optimization feature called True Wireless Sound Plus, and that just ensures perfect synchronization between the earphones so that they perform just as well as a single unit. The driver sizes are both the same in the PI5s and the PI7s, so you get a single 9.2 millimeter bespoke driver unit in each earphone, which is quite large for an in-ear headphone, and it means that more of the earphone itself is actually a driver. So you get a larger and more dynamic sound than a lot of other competitors without affecting the size of the earphones themselves. On paper, the PI5 support a maximum of 16-bit audio quality, which is CD level quality, so you can get the highest potential out of services like Spotify or Apple Music. On the PI7s, you can actually go one step further and benefit from 24-bit high res. So if you have a subscription like Deezer Elite or Tidal Hi-Fi that support a higher resolution of music playback, you can squeeze out even more quality from these earphones. In our testing, both sounded extremely crisp and detailed and offered an enjoyable listening experience. I found that they offered similar quality to a set of premium headphones, which for me is a big plus as it means you can get exceptional sound from a smaller form factor and they're just wearable for longer as they don't put pressure on your ears. A standout difference for me between the PI7s and the PI5s were the vocals because the PI7s get the addition of the armature tweeters um, and it just made the vocals more refined and it can pick up on the finer details like the breathing, for example. The PI7s also benefit from its own digital signal processing or DSP so help with the accuracy and tonality of the music. Overall, you can definitely tell the difference in audio performance between the PI7s and the PI5s, but both provided a surprisingly impressive performance. Another important feature that a lot of people find useful is call quality. So we tested phone calls on both the PI5s and PI7s, and the quality of the call at the other end was all you would need day to day, and our voice for the recipient was also perfectly clear. You do get an extra couple of microphones in the PI7s compared with the PI5s, but the difference in call quality was minimal and the extra microphones in the PI7s are probably working harder in the background when using the noise cancellation technology. So let's cover some other useful features on these earphones then. So when you first unbox them, you can either set them up using Google Fastpair if you have an Android device that supports this feature or using Bluetooth. Both are really quick setups, but the fast pair adds a nice extra touch. An important element of a good pair of earphones are their noise cancelling abilities. So the PI5s come with advanced noise cancellation, whereas the PI7s, they come with adaptive noise cancellation, so they'll automatically adjust its level of noise cancellation to suit your surroundings. You can, of course, choose your own modes of noise cancellation out of on, off, or auto. I think it was important for Bowers and Wilkins to give users the choice as some people like myself will appreciate the automatic noise cancellation as it means you don't need to touch the noise cancellation functions, whereas others like the element of control that they have over the level of noise cancellation. Similar to adaptive noise cancellation, you also have the option to enable or disable ambient pass-through in the Bowers & Wilkins app, which lets some external noise pass through so you can still hear important announcements in the background. I also really like the wear sensors on both of these earphones so that they'll know if they're in your ear. So if you take them out, they'll automatically go into power saving mode and will pause the music. So that's useful if someone starts talking to you and you need to listen quickly. 
They'll then resume the music once they've been put back in your ears. So let's touch on charging and battery life. So both the earphones come with a battery life from the earphones themselves of four hours for the PI7 and four and a half hours for the PI5. However, once charged up with a charging case, you can expect a total battery life of up to 24 hours on the PI5s and 20 hours on the PI7s. From looking at those numbers, they're not going to be market leading, and we were initially disappointed, but it is actually the same battery life as the AirPods Pro, um, which I use, and I have no issues with battery life in my usage. What we're seeing more commonly on earphones and headphones as well are quick charge features, which are so useful if you're going somewhere and you quickly realize that your headphones are flat. Bowers and Wilkins have added this feature, so a 15 minute burst of charge will get you two hours of music playback. To completely recharge from dead to full, B&W state that it will take approximately three hours, which is pretty good. Both models also offer wireless charging, which is a nice addition. So to summarize the key differences between the PI5s and the PI7s in a nutshell then, obviously the PI5s are a different price point at £199, whereas the PI7s are £349. But for that difference, you can get adaptive noise cancellation rather than the standard in the PI5s. You unlock a higher resolution of music and that DSP does seem to make a difference in the refinement of the music that you're listening to. Another key difference is the audio retransmission that you get with the PI7 headphones. I'd say if you're a frequent flyer, this would be the key feature to help you make your decision. One thing to bear in mind is that the PI5s benefit from a slightly higher overall battery life at 24 hours compared to 20 hours, which is not significant, but it does depend on your particular lifestyle and requirements. You do also get Bluetooth Aptex HD with the PI7s, but the standard Bluetooth 5.0 on the PI5, so it doesn't compress your audio quite as much. So if you're looking at a set of premium earphones at this price point of around 200 pounds and above, the chances are you've, you're already considering the Apple AirPods or AirPods Pro. So for me, the PI5 are 100% the better option when compared with the normal AirPods. Um, I actually think the sound performance and noise cancellation are very similar to the AirPods Pro. So therefore you're looking at paying an extra £50 for the AirPods Pro, which is only worth it if you're set on sticking with the Apple ecosystem, which if you are, you wouldn't be watching this review anyway. In terms of pushing it one step further to the PI7, an extra £100 isn't really a fair comparison. They of course outperform the AirPods Pro in sound performance and noise cancellation. If you do have a more flexible budget and would say audio quality is the most important element for you, you're gonna to want to consider the PI7s, especially if you have a high resolution music subscription. As someone who loves his AirPods Pro, I'm thinking of making the upgrade to the PI7s as I have actually been very impressed. I'll pop up some of the key features on the screen for you to look at how the specs compare on all four of these headphones. As you can see, they have a very similar battery life and all offer Bluetooth 5.0. However, the AirPods do offer a faster recharge time of one hour. Um, Apple don't appear to share their driver sizes, so we couldn't find this online, but do comment below if you know. So thanks for watching until this far. Before you go, let's just give you a quick verdict on the PI5s, the PI7s, and the AirPods Pro. Starting off with the PI5s, I think these offer a slightly better performance per pound than the AirPods Pro, because you do pay a slight premium for the Apple brand, and I don't think anyone can deny that. If you don't own many Apple products or don't necessarily need your earphones to integrate with your Apple ecosystem, the PI5s are likely to be the better buy for you. On the other hand, if you're well invested in Apple products already and your budget stretches to £249, the AirPods Pro are the obvious buy. The PI7s are really for people who love their music so much that they want to obtain the best possible sound quality from a set of premium earphones. Out of the three, the PI7s are the clear winner for me. I think the PI5s will be the star of the show for those looking at an alternative to the Apple AirPods Pro, but the PI7s are reserved for people who want to go that extra mile on the audio quality, who are also maybe more selective on the feature set, as you get some impressive additional features such as the audio retransmission, DSP, and adaptive noise cancellation. What we love is that both models have been crafted with real everyday life in mind and the features are based around that, like wireless charging, automatic noise cancellation, Google Fast Pair and retransmission technology. I can safely say that these are some of the most usable and seamless earphones that I've used with a truly impressive audio quality to match. Thanks for watching as always guys. Remember if this video has helped you to make a purchase decision, we do stock these on our website with free next day delivery. 
We're always looking for new video ideas as well, so if you'd like us to compare these with another model or want us to feature an audio product that you're loving, leave them down in the comments below as we always love hearing what you guys are using at the moment. See you in the next video.